If you don't already do this, I think it's something that you should really, really do because it's going to help you as a programmer, whether you want to get a job or just really see your progress as you as you become a, de a better developer and uh, watch how your projects sort of evolve through time and especially if you want to be able to go back and see your older projects as well. And that is not only to use Git when you're tracking your source code, even from quite a, a sort of beginner level, even if you're just writing basic things, I think it's interesting to be able to see the actual progression of your work. So I think it's actually a very useful thing to do to be able to put it on GitHub from as soon as you can. And then as you develop that portfolio, what I like to do is I only keep about 15 repositories on my GitHub. And that tends to be uh, when I upload a new one, I'm going to remove the one that I think is the least impressive. So. Uh, when someone goes to my GitHub, they don't see 200 repositories of lots of rubbish, mostly. They only see the ones that I actually really want to show them. Not only that, if you ever go for a job interview when you're trying to apply for a programming job, it's actually really handy to be able to do, like I did in fact, both of my job interviews, pull up my GitHub account and show them. Because it also reflects well on you if you can show them that you're using the skills uh, in personal projects that you would also be using on the job, then that's going to give them so much more confidence in you to be able to have that ability to be able to program. Uh, even if you don't necessarily have much prior experience, that experience of putting a project on GitHub that's sort of finished and it works and it uses relevant technologies, that is going to be very, very beneficial in terms of an interview and getting a job. But not only that, if you put something interesting on GitHub, that means, of course, it's open to the public so that anyone can see it. And I know that a lot of people, for a fact, love to look at source code and try to figure out how things work and understand what it's doing, uh, myself included. And if you can put a repository on there, which perhaps inspires someone uh, to do their own work based on one of your implementations, then I think that's actually a really, really cool thing for you to be able to do, simply just by uploading some code that you would have written anyway. 